Now, Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis and your Storm Team 2 forecast. That grass may be wet and clumping up if you cut it tonight because we've had quite a bit of rain today and still some showers around this evening. A chance of thunder 78 at 7 o'clock with 76 at 9 p.m. and down to 74 at 11 o'clock in the evening. And then we get a break in the rain overnight after the uh, sun sets. We should see the showers move on out of here and a brief break in the rain for the overnight hours. And it looks like uh, most of the day tomorrow. Although there will be a shower or two passing just west and south of us, it looks like, late in the day on Thursday. But better chances of rain coming back in uh, late Thursday night and Friday. We'll see temperatures start in the upper 60s tomorrow morning with 78 at noon. Also, there could be some clouds and fog around in areas early in the day tomorrow. But then warming into the mid-80s tomorrow afternoon, it will be humid. So some evening showers around that chance of thunderstorms in our weather headlines. The heavy rain, the main threat here. Even that will diminish over the next couple of hours. And then Thursday looks mostly dry. An isolated shower, thunderstorm mainly to the south of us and west of us in the afternoon. And then the thunderstorm is more likely again on Friday. Once again, we could see some heavy rain. The payoff, we get some nice weather just in time for the weekend. The severe thunderstorm watch that was in effect has been canceled now across southern Ohio. The primary risk of severe weather uh, moving out of the southern part of our state now into West Virginia and Kentucky. We ended up with 1.16 inches of rain at Dayton International. Takes us up to two and a quarter for the month and now all of a sudden we're back to a surplus of 2.7 inches. And our weather checker in West Alexandria, Pam Montgomery, a couple inches of rain. Jim Shank and Eaton, 1.2. Vicki Sifke and New Carolina matched yesterday's rain total at one inch, two inches for the past two days. And Dennis Lowstetter in uh, Jamestown, 1.6. So some of those cornfields out there getting some much needed rainfall. Live Doppler 2 HD still tracking the rain. Some showers have been passing through Montgomery County. Rain up around Vandalia now. Some of the heavier rain coming southeast right along uh, State Route 571 and State Route 49 in Dark County. Uh, so our can, it looks like your rain's going to pick up as the rain tapers off in Greenville, Bradford. You're getting some decent rain. That'll move over toward Covington. And then back northwest of us, still some showers in northern Indiana, but gradually should diminish this evening. Heaviest rain pushing southeast into Kentucky and West Virginia. Highs tomorrow, mid-80s, 85 Sydney, Greenville, about 86 in Springfield, Troy. We should be up to about 86 degrees here in the afternoon in Dayton. And then Friday, you'll notice the cool off with more clouds and rain, upper 70s north to low 80s in the southern part of the Miami Valley. Currently 75 and uh, no heat index really to talk about. 94% humidity though, it's quite muggy out there. A lot of temperatures right now mid to upper 70s. Future track forecast, the rain moves out. May see some fog and low clouds form in places later tonight. And then those clouds break up tomorrow. Partly cloudy skies, next chance of rain as I mentioned here heading toward Friday. Your forecast tonight, some evening showers, chance of thunder, locally heavy rain and muggy overnight low 67. Mixed clouds and sunshine, warm and humid tomorrow with a high temperature of 86 and a light northeast wind at 5 to 10. Heavy rain on Friday, 82 showers and thunderstorms, but back to dry weather Saturday, partly cloudy, 82 with that lower humidity air. 60 Sunday morning with a high of 83, sunny and nice, and then very warm on Monday into the upper 80s. Sh showers and thunderstorms back around Tuesday.